the opinion coming in on the bond market but let's talk about European markets because it was a weak day of trade on fears of political instability after Russian made missiles landed in Polish territory raising tensions between Russia and NATO countries the French CAC closed half a percent lower the German DAX saw cuts of one percent while the FTSE was lower by 0.7 percent and that's all the global market action a lot that has happened overnight but how will these overnight cues impact our own markets we have our research team joining in to tell you just that the trade setup the stocks and news and the action from the fno space as well hey guys a very good morning to all of you uh vivek let me come across to you first up what is the market setup looking like today well good morning you know it just appears as though the wait for the fresh highs as far as the nifty are concerned may just get delayed that little bit uh, longer so you know overnight queues are not very encouraging in terms of the fact that uh, most of the u.s markets are uh, ending in the red you know important to watch the fact that uh, as you mentioned uh, you know the retail target uh, guidance was some quite soft and this is something that has led to renewed worries as far as the uh, you know consumer spending conference is concerned european markets like you just mentioned too ended in the red and when you're talking about gold prices gold prices were largely flat you know and when you're talking about the crude prices crude prices actually fell quite significantly uh, in the last couple of trading sessions we've seen quite a bit of a sell off of wti futures were down over a percent and a half and brent futures fell over a percent in yesterday's trading session uh, one important event to watch out for would be the weekly jobless claims as far as the us markets are concerned and markets will continue to take cues as far as economic data is concerned the asian markets are indicating you know quite a bit of a soft uh, soft start as far as indian markets are concerned lgx nifty 2 is indicating uh, you know muted open it'll be interesting to see you know the strength that indian markets are seeing the relative strength of course something that continues in today's trading session Okay, all right. That is the market uh, expectation today. Seventy pound da point downtick on the uh, SGX Nifty. Now let's go across to Surbi. She will be listing out all the stocks that will be in focus today. Surbi. Few stocks that will be on my radar today. The first one is Aurobindo Pharma, where the U.S. FDA concluded the inspection in their Andhra Pradesh unit. The company received an establishment inspection report, uh, classifying the inspection as voluntary action indicated. Next is Wen Life Sciences, where the company announced randomization of the first patient uh, in the uh, phase three global clinical trial for the treatment of Alzheimer patients. Next is Hindustan Zinc and Vedanta, where. Hindustan Zinc approved the second interim dividend of 15 and a half rupees per share which comes to a total of approximately 6550 crores. Next is Balrampur Chini where the company commences production in its new distillery unit with a capacity of 320 kiloliters per day. With this the total distillery capacity is now at 880 kiloliters per day. Next is Timken where the existing manufacturing facilities in Gujarat will be expanded to manufacture SRB and CRB. The expected start of this expansion is Jan 2025 and the capex for this project is 600 crores. And lastly Irkon where the company emerges as the lowest bidder for the project floated by the Madhya Pradesh government. The value of this pro project is approximately 393 crores. So be thank you so much for all those stocks so uh, and finally let me grow across to Mangalam who's joining in with all the cues from the FNO space hey Mangalam Good morning. So the Nifty yesterday consolidated in a hundred point band, uh, you know, just below record highs. Closed a little above that eighteen thousand four hundred mark after meandering between eighteen four forty and eighteen three fifty at the lower end as well. The domestic institutional investors were buyers in the cash market to the tune of fourteen hundred crores. The FIs were selling, and this is something I'll be watching out for primarily because a lot of the FI supply may also be on account of a lot of these pre-IPO lock-ins opening in today. There is that deal with. Uh, PTM too, so that is something we'll be watching out for. But in index futures, the FIs have gone all in. In index futures, they've bought almost eighteen thousand, eighteen hundred and forty-five watt crores, added twelve thousand seven hundred longs, covered six thousand shorts, and as a result of which, the FII longs in index futures are at sixty-five percent. That's among the highest that we've seen in this series. And on a net basis, the net long positions of the FIIs are fifty-five thousand contracts, and that's the highest that we've seen in the last many days as well. Ahead of weekly options expiry, the queues coming in from the option space also rather positive. They sold thirty-four thousand puts and covered forty-three fifty calls, short calls that is. And in just the last two trading sessions, the FIIs have written one lakh puts. So that's telling you that the street is bracing for a strong support at the lower end. The SGX Nifty is indicating a dip. Let's see whether that get, dip gets bought into or not. Because if these short puts have to unwind, then the pain could have been a, just a little more. The eighteen thousand four hundred call is where we're seeing most of the action. That's the sixteen thousand four hundred call. Just uh, take a look at the eighteen thousand four hundred call and put. 
put together, they have a premium of almost 100 odd points. It is weekly options expiry today. So maybe the option writers are eyeing that 18,300 to 18,500 range for the Nifty. The only thing we'll be watching out for is the number of stocks which are entering FNO ban. Notwithstanding PNB getting out of FNO ban yesterday, we still had Balram Purchini and India Bulls Housing Finance enter the ban alongside the stocks which are already in ban, the kinds of BHEL, Sun TV, GNFC, Delta Corp. So seven stocks in FNO ban, uh, you know, makes the mid-cap investors a little iffy. It does, all right. Uh, Mangalam, Surbi and Vivek, thank you so much for joining us and taking us through what to expect from the trading day today. With that, we'll uh, slip into a short break now. Up next, we'll get you all the updates from the second day of the G20 Summit in Indonesia. Stay tuned.